Okay, as part of these little free video tutorials that I'm making um, for every day in September, I'm just going to show you how to extract a groove from an audio file and apply it to a MIDI file in Cubase. So I'm just going to find a drum loop and I'm just going to use the media bay to do that. So let's have a look. Okay, let's find the drum loop. Okay, that's got quite a good groove to it, so we'll just insert that into the project by double-clicking it. There we go. Now, let's have a listen. Okay, that sounds quite cool. Now, I want to use the groove of this drum loop onto this little pattern that I've got here. So how do we do that? Very easy. Double click it. Brings us into Cubase's audio editor. You just make sure we've got the whole loop selected. And all we want to do is edit the hit points. So we just select edit hit points. And as you can see, it's Cubase has taken a guess at the hit points there. Let's put it on to 32s. And let's have a look at this. So we can just tidy the beats up a bit. So let's look at the first one. Okay, it's got that one. Maybe we could move that across a little bit. Let me just... Let's just... Okay, that's not bad. That's got that. Yeah. There's two in there, strangely. Another one there. So it looks okay. Maybe we get yeah, we get one in there. Okay. Let's say that that's our definitely there's one missing there as well. Didn't see that. There. Okay, that looks okay now. Okay, so we've we've now put the hit points to where there's every hit. Now all we need to do now is select create groove and that's it, it's done. So if I now close the audio file you'll see up here it's got the quantize preset called fade to grey 135 BPM 442 bars which is exactly what it is because it may not have originally been 135 but we're on 135 and this has been um, auto time stretched as it came in. It's actually, it was actually 135 anyway, so even if we take that off, I'll just delete that. that other one. It would have been 135 anyway. So we've got our slices there, we've created our groove. So now, if we come in here, now as you can see, you can see the quantize. See, see it? If I change this to 16ths, you can see, there we go, it's some pure 16s, but if I now go back and put that to the fade to grey, there you can see how it's changed. So if I now select and hit quantize, you see all the notes move? Didn't move much, but they did move. So if I do that, quantize, yeah, they've all been quantized now. And the weird thing is, No, nothing weird about that. That's it, it's done. Maybe we should have done it over two bars, just to give you a... Okay, so that's everything quantized to sixteenths. Maybe if I can move some of the notes around a little bit, you might see what happens a bit better. Maybe get rid of some of these. Let's just see if we can see a bit better movement, really. Mm -hmm. 
OK, so now if we select all and we go to our quantize and bring in our fade to grey quantize and hit quantize now, there, you've seen everything move that time, right? Undo that. Quantize, and there's some real movement going on there. You can hear the difference. Um, where it's quantized um, a lot of these last sections here and this bit here and this bit here. So undo the quantize. You do it. So there you go. That's how to extract a groove from a drum loop and apply it to a MIDI track. Tell you what, let's do another one. We'll see if we can find a drum loop that's really, really different. Okay, just to show you, you don't even have to use a drum loop. I've got this little strange loop. Okay, let's let's extract the groove from that and apply it to the drums. So we just double click on that, close that. So here's our audio file. Okay, so let's go into that. You can apply um, the edit hit points. And maybe we can change it to just sixteenths this time. Let's have a look. Does that one need to be there? Right, okay. So we've got a little groove going on there that's specific to this bass line, I guess. So we'll go create groove. We we'll just click on that. Close that. And then if we go to our MIDI loop now, as you can see it's it's selected this loop, this quantize for us, so if we select everything, there we go, now it's all quantized to the to the to that bass loop, so So there you have it. That's extracting a groove from an audio file and using it to quantize a MIDI file, whether it be drums or bass lines or whatever. Just before I go, I'll show you that, um, remember the, the, this audio file. I can now quantize that to this bass file as well, if I want to. So we can just come in here, hit create slices. You see the slices have been created. If I now hit quantize, there we go, it's quantized the notes. Yeah, it's not fantastic. And there's other things we can do to make it um, much more ideal. Because it's basically, where there isn't a note, it's removed the notes. But you can get some cool effects. Anyway, hope that helps you out somewhat. Thanks for watching.